Hello, I'm Sasha. I'm over here in northern Taipei, and the long wait is over because finally Jolly Cloud, the new operating system for networks, for cloud computing, got released. And guess what I got over here? That's my Samsung NC10, which got officially Jolly Clouded, and we are taking a closer look at it right now. So finally, we got Jolly Cloud installed, and that's the first boot stream that came up on my Samsung NC10, and I'm building Jolly Cloud up right now. So maybe a couple of guys of you can remember that uh, the first pictures that I got leaked of Jolly Cloud were looked like Netbook Remix, so this is something completely different. So that's a June 2009 Robbie release. Seems like the Jolly Cloud team is into robots somehow, so I'm pretty sure that we are getting some different robot names. Maybe there's a C3PO release soon, or R2D2, or whatever. So I'm just um, getting my password in here. And over. Here we are. Looks like Ubuntu Netbook Remix at the moment, but believe me, that's the thing that is the interesting part of it all. And you can see also this little cloud over here. So right now I'm connected to the internet over the Wi Fi right here. And we are just entering the Jolly Cloud world. So how to describe Jolly Cloud in the best way? Um, I would say it's in social OS, or it makes your netbook a social netbook. So Tariq Krim is well known for his uh, uh, establishing of um, uh, net vibes, and it's, it's a, he's a guy who knows all about social media, social networks, and he put all his experience in there. And he's working together with a great Linux developer. And so what these guys did in the last couple of months is, my opinion, absolutely mind-blowing. So what we see over here is just the first uh, login screen or the dashboard. Normally, you have to log in into the Jolly Cloud before. But um, so th this is the first screen uh, you can see. And over here on the right side, you can see to which groups I'm subscribed and to which people I'm following. So Tariq, I'm following Tariq Krim over here, and every time Tariq is following another person, or if Tariq is uh, installing a new application uh, on, his, on his Jolly Cloud netbook, now I'm getting a, kind of, uh, a little notification with a link to this application, and I can take a look at it there. So for example, he installed Zoho Sheet. I can click on it. It's switching over to application, and I'm uh, getting all the information about this application. You can read it, you can see when the application got uploaded. So there's a huge App Store a backend already behind all this. And simple things like, uh, as you can notice, we got into a sub-menu right now. So I've switched over from the dashboard. I just love simple things like having a little backlink so I can switch over to the menu where I've been to before. So. Again, get over to the dashboard again, you see, I'm following Tariq, I'm a subscriber of the Jolly Cloud group. Uh, under updates, I would get uh, all the recent notification about updates and the Jolly Cloud uh, backend. If there are any updates available, I can check uh, for new updates over here, and it's immediately going to download it and installing it on my Jolly Cloud system. And here's a little history. So you can see over here my history of programs and applications I installed, of people that I'm following, etc. So let's get over to the application front end. And here we are. So this category is just uh, uh, sporting the featured ones. I have two different views. So this is the big icon view. And over here we have the list view. So I can see all these featured applications, most popular one. Um, the application that got added recently into the Jolly Cloud uh, ecosystem. So we have different categories like accessories, development, education, games, graphics, internet, office, sound and video. And what they try to do is to get as many applications on there that are taking advantage of cloud computing. It means they are outsourcing uh, or they are using uh, services on the internet, services that are already in the cloud. For example, like the Cloud Player, right, which is a really decent player that is just, you know, existing in the cloud, so I don't have to install anything over here. So another interesting thing is when we come into settings, 
you see I have my little profile over here picture of me and my name and my username and over here it says computers and now it's getting really interesting um, when I installed Jolly Cloud for the first time I had to register my Samsung NC10 so I could choose uh, between a couple of computers and uh, until my Samsung NC10 was showing up and so I've been registering Jolly Cloud just for my NC10 and there we are I gave my NC10 uh, the name Sammy so what I can do right now I can install Jolly Cloud on all my mobile or all my netbooks right now they are supporting about I think 30 Intel Atom platform netbooks so I'm pretty sure that you will find uh, a compatibility list uh, on jollycloud.com um, so I registered my Samsung NC10 if I'm gonna install Jolly Cloud on let's say my EPC 1000H or my Lenovo IdeaPad S10 I'm logging in with my information um, it is just arranging the whole installation on the new system in the same way like I set it up on my Samsung NC10 so it's synchronizing your whole little environment of applications of people you're following etc also uh, on your new system and over here um, we're coming to another interesting part of Jolly Cloud means subscription so right now I'm subscribed or I've subscribed to the Jolly Cloud system software updates um, to the Jolly Cloud group and to Tariq Krim so the interesting thing about this is, well, think about um, um, premium content, or specific content um, that you can subscribe, or um, specific news channels, etc., movie channels, or whatever. This is a very, very early alpha version, but I think you can get where they are aiming for, what what their approach is on all this. It's all about you know having a kind of social network for cloud computing and uh, that I can subscribe to uh, different services, to different groups and users. It's just bringing it all together. This is just not a simple operating system. So this is, this, as I said, it's a social operating system. That's, that's the best term that comes to my mind right now. And uh, well, I can see where Terry Krim and his, and his Jolly Cloud uh, crew is aiming for. And I think it's just fantastic. So. When we want to use an application right now and want to get off the Jolly Cloud, and by the way, 3G support is doing very, very well, and also simple things like, uh, like, look at this, if I'm changing the volume, oh, here we go, uh, they have a nice sleek design on this, I really love that, you know, and it's, it's, it's not popping up in front of the screen, you know, in the middle of the screen, like on any other uh, windows, or Linux distribution, you know, they really took care of simple things like just placing it over here with the search box because, you know, it's not getting in your way. Over here, the brightness. So, as I said, sleek design, very, very good job. Um, so, let's switch back. Let's think about we installed an application. Just switch back to um, um, this desktop view or this kind of easy mode of uh, Ubuntu Netbook Remix and I'm just now using Cloud Player so I'm, then you can see what it's all about when it comes to applications so there's a new tab opening and um, the Cloud Player is now starting I hope that my internet, uh, internet connection is fast enough to show it up immediately but you know with an ordinary 3G connection this is up in seconds by the way over here this little Jolly Cloud symbol is getting blue when you're connected to Jolly Cloud when you're not connected to the Jolly Cloud ecosystem it's just gray okay here we are there's this little cloud player and uh, now I can uh, search for specific genres and uh, I can just choose different music but I can always switch back to my Jolly Cloud interface, right? When I have a couple of other applications uh, opened, let's get on. Let's get on uh, on Twitter, and uh, we can also use 
we have the Google Mail application. So at the moment, I already set up all my social networks, my email accounts. Oops, that was really clumsy. It's been there already. Sorry. Okay, let's get on Gmail. All my social networks like um, Facebook and Twitter is in there and um, uh, my Gmail account is set up to Jolly Cloud. From for myself, it's just at the moment the, the perfect OS. It's all I need um, because I'm just working in the cloud all day long. I'm using Twitter, I'm using Facebook, I'm using Gmail, and I'm blogging on my blog, and of course this blog is stored in the cloud, so I have to be online anyways. And um, I can see, I just can see where they're aiming at, right? Um, and what Jolly Cloud will be in the future. Well, think about having specific content on there. Think about having an own community in Jolly Cloud where I can follow people, where I can send them messages, etc. You know, it will be it will be pretty easy to do that. For example, the search. This is something that I forgot. Let's get in Tariq. So I can search for users and applications. When I'm searching for users, Tariq's profile is showing up. And I oh sorry, I can subscribe or unsubscribe, right? And of course I could also search for applications. Well, even though there shouldn't be any application with the name Tariq, or but for example, if I would search now for Gmail for the Google Mail applications or the Google applications in general, oh, there, there comes a Gmail app, um, application up and also Thunderbird one. So I can install it right away. Just click on it. I, it wants my password right now. And here we go. It should download it. Oops, that was an incorrect password. Nice one. How about this one? So, it's now downloading Thunderbird and it's going to install it immediately. But we can leave this in the background. And while we can switch over, here's Gmail and uh, my Twitter, the Cloud Player, and still the Jolly Cloud. So, I think you guys could, can get it, uh, what Jolly Cloud is all about. It's not a simple OS. I think it's just an amazing, amazing application that is running completely on the internet. Um, I think this is all HTML. It's got them fast. And it's just bringing my operating system. It's merging it into the cloud. For people that are always online, that are using netbooks, right? This is right now just, in my opinion, the perfect OS. So they are launching um, the invitation only alpha on the 1st of June. So get over to jollycloud.com. I'm pretty sure the team would let you know uh, how to get an invitation, how you can get your hands on Jolly Cloud. Try it out and, you know, it is not ready right now. It is an alpha. But what I can see, um, it just has enormous potential. And there's nothing like this on the market. That's a completely different approach to cloud computing and bringing cloud computing to networks. This is my social network right now. As you can see, my Samsung NC10 got officially jolly clouded.